take a couple blinks of those while I keep doing. I'm going to talk about Goldman tonometry, and that's the blue light test. So I explained what tonometry is in my first video called the puff test, non-contact tonometry. It's a test where we can measure intraocular pressure, and it's also a screener for glaucoma. If you haven't watched my video about non-contact tonometry, I explain a lot there, so please watch that one. Goldman applination tonometry. It's still a fast procedure, but it's more accurate and more repeatable than non-contact tonometry. People also tend to like this one more because they don't like how the puff feels, but some people also don't like the blue light and they don't like anything coming up close to their eye. So what happens during this test is the doctor will put a drop in your eye and the, the drop will look yellow. It actually has a fluorescent agent so that we can see better. And so if your eye is yellow after this test, it's what's supposed to happen. Don't be alarmed. In that drop is also a numbing agent. Now the numbing agent is really helpful for us as doctors and also it makes the test more comfortable for the patient. We put the blue light on, we take a look at the cornea, and then a little tip that we have on the microscope will come really close to the eye. It just barely touches the front surface of the eye or the cornea. And it's so slight that some people even say that it just touches your tears. Because we put the numbing agent in, you shouldn't feel it at all. And if you feel it, then it's probably all in your head. Another reason we put the numbing agent in, not only so that the patient doesn't feel it and it makes the patient more comfortable, it also reduces the blink rate. So we, when we have the, the tip touching the eye, then you won't blink it out. So as the patient, it's really important that you keep still, you keep your forehead against the bar, and your chin in the chin rest. You stay still, you keep looking where the doctor told you to look. And it's really important that you don't back away as the tip is coming towards you because then the test will just have to be done again. And it was very hard for some people to stay still during this test because it causes a lot of anxiety for some people, but if you cooperate with us, it'll be very, very fast. And we'll have better results and we'll have to do a fewer times. Also, something that happens when people get tense is that they can tense up their muscles, they can hold their breath, and these are things that actually increase the intraocular pressure. So it'll give us false results. Try as we might to have the patient relax, but some patients just won't relax. One thing that I think is really helpful is if you look where the doctor tells you to look and you use the eye that's not being measured to look at that place. And if you're looking there, you might not even notice the blue light coming towards you. And then you won't jerk away, you won't be nervous, and we won't have to do the test again. So applanation means to flatten out a convex surface. The convex surface that we're talking about is the cornea. So we're testing how much pressure we need to apply onto the cornea to make it flatter. And this is what we see on our side. So once we touch the tears or the front surface of the cornea, we look at these half circles here. We line them up perfectly, and then once we line them up perfectly, we have to turn the dial to see how much pressure we put onto the cornea to get those two half circles to kiss on the inside, just like that. They might be like this, and then we turn the dial to add more pressure, and then they line up but then we want them to just kiss on the inside a little bit more than lining up. So that's our endpoint. That's what we're looking for. As you can see, it is fluorescent, and so that's why we need to put that fluorescent drop into your eye and use the blue filter to make the fluorescent even more fluorescent and easier for us to see. This is some people's least favorite part of the exam, but believe me, it's really not that bad. And if you just relax and cooperate, the test goes by like that. So I hope this is helpful. Please watch my non-contact tonometry video if you haven't, because that gives a lot more information on intraocular pressure. And I hope this explained a lot of things.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. You're a superstar. <laughs> it feels like right.